Hi, welcome back. This is like my fifth time making the video. Here's a little montage. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man. You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. Headphone jack? Wow. Wow. We love it. We love it. This is my eighth time making this video because pff, I'm a procrastinator. Show are you. So, I just did this whole entire thing for nothing. So, if you are also a procrastinator like me, tell me what project you're procrastinating right now. We're both like this. We're, we're like Romeo and Juliet. We're made in the stars. Thank you so much, Kyle, who is editing this video right now. Anyways, also go to bed, bud, and take your meds. And also you take your meds as well. Anyways, we are getting right into this video. This is my childhood. I know the factor of Smosh has been coming back. I know Epic Rap Battles of History is coming back. I know a bunch of other niche influencers are all of a sudden popping back up trying to give us some nostalgic feel. So how about I join them? And in my little community, bring you some of my childhood and what I love to watch. So, right now, this is John Wick versus John Rambo versus John McClane, epic rap battles of history. It has 9.3 mil views one year ago. I have not touched epic rap battles of history in so long. That sounds very weird. Don't call the police. But this is what I am so excited for. So, please strap in. Please watch until all of it i'm here to analyze everything and that is false because i could probably i know nothing about these guys so i know none of the inside jokes none of the inside jokes so um we're gonna try this out and you're gonna tell me if i miss any inside jokes and we're just gonna anyways let's let's get into this okay should have brought my coffee upstairs oh i like his hairstyle Okay. John McClane! Oh, okay. John Rambo! I know Rambo. Alright, guess some will be the one to draw first blood. Or maybe you could draw an audience to see any of your new movies. Come on to the coast, we'll have a few laughs, sounds sweet. But no, I'm stuck here with these two jerkweeds, about to kick their ass with bare feet. Alrighty. I'm gonna drop the beat. I'll set it off like it's the top of that pony. Need a mm. fire hose to swing on you, you both so below me. Ooh. I haven't stopped killing it, it's cause for the Tony, and mm. I got your detonators right here. Ship your booby traps home, Rambo. Cause you'll never take the W without the P&O. Does your lip hang low? Does Ooh. it wobble to and fro? Can you string that shit up on your compound bow? Lighten up, Wick, with your brooding saga. Okay. How about a little Lakuna Matata, Baba Yaga? You got the trousers, tape, and the watch, Spooker. But your acting falls flatter than the Hans. Gruber! Leave the Ooh. underground coin game to Mario Brothers. And John Booby. What the fuck's with the chest butter? The bitch. Okay, alrighty, right off the bat, we got some nasty bars. I love how they did Rambo. I I am a personal fan of Rambo. I like Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, uh, Ch Chuck Mother Norris. I like how I had to censor my own self. Anyways, I, I like the thing that we paused on. Right off the bat, he's coming shots of fire. Already coming at Rambo, coming at the, um, what is it, the, the the muscle growth whatever it's oh my gosh okay so we're in for a extremely decent roller coaster Mandolier looks heavy as shit i'm like this prick's ring finger only need one clip i've been shopping shattered glass since the late 80s and like your late pump i'll leave you pushing up daisies less is more boys that's my advice you less survival knife you more survival wife I'm gonna need a dinner reservation for two. Ooh. John Wick, I'm efficient and lean. A proficient, huh. professional killing machine. Okay. I'm the world overachiever looking dapper as a buck. And only one of us to go three chapters without sucking. Between your elevator Ooh. and the mine where you were trapped. You're such wieners, I should call you both John Shaft. I craft rhymes with pencils, then jam them in next. So I'm not vexed by that flex and roid injected pecs. Being excommunicado wasn't more than I could handle. Uh -huh. So I think I can withstand an excremental ex commando in this sad Broken Ooh. dad joke at Popo is no foe for the hurt you oh so bad virtuoso. Ho 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 to quivers and bows. I'm delivering whoa, blows. Whoa, and when whoa, they land, whoa, it whoa. Help to make fists with your toes. Bitcoin? No. Hitcoin? Certainly. I'll put you two in tune. Call it cryptocurrency. Open Okay, alrighty, another, another banger happening right here. I like how they also utilize uh, John Wick's fighting skills to where 
with John McClane, he's more like fiery, punchy, so they use that in the raps. With John, his fighting skills are more fluent. He d he does use guns, of course, but it's not as like shot fiery. It's more like fluent and then hit, fluent and then hit. So I wonder if they're gonna go all blazing in with John Rambo. Obey your superior like good cops and soldiers. Raven, Roy, you're done. Over. Nothing is over. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. Okay. Unless it's one of your movies. Okay. In which case, I just turn it off. <gasps> when I rip off my shirt and start swinging my six holes, I'm hotter than the suicide girls on your switchboard. My headband's red, but I got no love for comedy. No juice was used to produce these army. High temple rules don't apply to these conflict. I'll finish you right in the lobby. This is a conflict. Hey! South is where your marriage went. The last pipe thing you slid in was an like air vent. They used to say you were a handsome Ooh. crusader. Bad, your hairline couldn't get saved by Steve Urkel's neighbor. Oh, I slip into the jungle, disappear like a gulf. Then ding, I pop up out behind you like pearl. I seek peace, but I'm back in Parabella. I was trained to be the very best soldier boy. I'm blasting on PG through okay. NYPD's guts. Ooh, Simon says you can PTSD. Alrighty, number two. I like how they use the accent, but I don't feel like they went all in like John Wick. I feel like I probably just overanalyzed John Wick. Because with him, it is that epic explosion of personality that kind of, I guess, balances out his charisma. Because if I'm being honest, John, John Rambo kind of over... Um, kind of over... Um, anyways... I'm just here to say that I liked his little flow, but I also liked the changing of the beat to where uh, John McClane's beat kind of matched his kind of like late 80s-esque. I like John Wick's because it's kind of like that, you know, the original beat in John Rambeau's is more like adventurous, like something you would see in uh, whether it is uh, Black Panther or like a Marvel movie for that matter. So I do appreciate that. Jesus Christ, asshole! What are you doing? This is not some Saturday morning cartoon for you to ruin! Only thing getting ruined is McLean family Christmas! All your kids still have decent dad on their wish list! Whoa! Rambo dropping bombs in his clothes! Your pals in the Taliban help you write those! Those were Mujahideen, there's a difference. The Taliban formed in the 90s when you fell off with a vengeance. Hey! Who the fuck asked you, dog pal? Don't you go lock your mouth in a hole in the ground! Oh! oh. You're both a funeral suit away from presentable. I'm thinking I'm back. And I'm thinking you're expendable. You wanna die hard? Well, today's a good day. Let's go, motherfuckers. You be Kaya! Yeah! <laughs> okay, I love this one. I like this one. Okay, so they did call me out right about over, what is it, right here where it comes with the the dropping bombs because that's exactly how he did the, had the skills right here. Jesus Christ, asshole, what are you doing? This is not some Saturday morning cartoon for you to ruin. Only thing getting ruined is McLean family Christmas. All your kids still have decent dad on their wish list. Whoa, Rambo dropping bombs in his floor. Right there. So that's the whole thing. It's they're representing the different fighting styles that they have to where John McClane. Am I making sure? Is this John McClane? I'm pretty sure it's John McClane. But uh, if I if it's not, I'm not I I'm not fronting. But this is John McClane. He's more shots fired. Every sentence he's saying is shots fired. Him is more martial arts, where it's like the fighting, and of course he does guns, but it's more flowy-esque. With him, it's dropping bombs. So I do appreciate how they made the artistic style with that. If you want to analyze the beat real fast, listen. Okay, with these two jerkweeds about to kick their ass with bare feet. I gotta drop the beat. I set it off against the top of Nakatomi. Need a fire hose to swing on you, you boat so below me. So if you listen to the beat, it's more, I guess, that New York City-esque, like what you would hear in uh, something in like Ninja Turtles. 
I don't know, but it's like city-esque. It gives that city vibe where it's not really adequate with, you know, uh, Safari or whatever. It's not relaxing. It's one of those like upbeats. And then if we analyze John Wick's beat real fast. In underworld overachiever looking dapper as a fuck and only one of us to go three chapters without sucking. Between your dialogue. You see that little vroom, that little vroom that they added there? It's more futuristic, and that's what's cool. For looking dapper as a fuck, and only one of us to go three chapters without sucking. Between your see? see that little vroom that they did with the beat right there? It's more futuristic. It kind of gets that little elevation to it, and then we can listen to Mr. Rambo. Oh, I slip into the jungle, disappear like a gulf. Then ding, I pop up out behind you like puss. Number one, the production value is this. It's amazing. But you can hear that jungle-esque to it. So, of course, there's a lot of thought and a lot of passion being put into these. And that's what's so cool is that at the end of the day, they're doing their research with this content. They're doing, they're putting so much effort into this. And that's why it's done so well. And that's why they're on 14.9, about to be 15 million you know subscribers and that's what brought my childhood to its peak is stuff like this so thank you guys for watching a snippet of my childhood give me a snippet of your childhood tell me what youtubers or what tv shows or something like that that you used to watch so then i can watch them so then when uh, we can kind of share this little connection and it's kind of cool and stuff like that also can we give a round of applause to the green screen not falling for once thank you Jeez, man. i'm gonna end this video quickly so that doesn't go so um i'm gonna be dropping that bombs um like I drop in hogs in the fog with the dog that got shot because John Wick is a prick and he I will find you and I will kill you